<coughs> hey everybody, this is Game Freak 10124. Welcome back. More let's play Pokemon Violet Blind. Hey hey, Riki here at your service. These genes really aren't giving you Dang it. These genes really ain't, aren't giving you too much trouble, are they? Hey, Gary, yeah. Uh oh, right. You two haven't met before, have you? This young lady is Sunny Star Scout. She's so good with Pokemon, even. <sighs> Sigh. She's, just, she's so good with Pokemon, even. Live Primary has taken an interest in her. Oh, wow, oh, wow. I think you like my team Poppy really strong too, like really strong. <clears throat> Which one of the one of you is stronger do you think? Well, um, I'm on Elite Four, so I'm more amazing. I'm so amazing, I have stars over myself in my eyes. <laughs> now aren't you just adorable? I know it's hard to believe this tiny little one is indeed one of the Elite Four. Yeah, I yeah, am. I hope I can hear you my Pokemon too, miss. I hear you because the Pokemon League is where it's the where the um, pinnacle. It's where the like Pokemon battling happens. See you there. <laughs> hey, what ate up? Well, you keep up the good work. You heard of the kid. She's waiting for you. Wait up, Poppy. Don't leave your pal Regan behind. That's it, blind man, I'm as well catching this tax race on uh, stream. I'm not showing anything else off beyond that. <clears throat> so I've flown here. I don't know how much I did off screen, I don't remember sadly, but... Apparently this wildland is literally just the gym, because the Pokemon Center even says it's the gym, it's not any town or city. Sunny, it's finally time for your last gym, right? I heard from Rika, but I'm 0% worried about you. I know you got this. Even La Primera seems like she wants to keep an eye on you. Maybe I'll go find her so we can cheer you on together when you battle the gym leader. So go and battle this beautiful for you and for the crowd. Fuck doing this uh, gym. Let me just do as a challenger. Okay, now I'm gonna report it. Uh, yeah, gym test. It means doing the snow slope run. I don't hope, but now the design does it need to course and try to reach the goal within the time limit. Set your test set out in the gym and go to the slope of the left. We'll fill you in on the details there. <laughs> oh, 
What I do, climb the mountain or what? This is where the run starts. Your task is to ride, ride a Pokemon all the way down this course. It's like a slippery sliding nature trail. <coughs> <coughs> Make sure you finish land within the target time and you'll have passed the test. So ready to attempt the gym test? Yes. Hear the boggy music from frickin' Banjo Kazooie. Uh, the best line I've ever seen, almost like Gucci in his prime. You pass it with flying colors. Oh, well, the lighter skin color guy, a lighter skin guy who looks just like me. Freaking no, you pass. Kind of a shame, no gym battles, but whatever. you're on the slopes, you finish the solo, so, oh, no problem, you pass the test. <laughs> Sub-Zero, nice. There you are, bro. I'm freezing. I took you a challenger. My name is Garsh. I'm a silver. I used to be a pro, actually. Now I'm a gym leader. I saw you on the slopes. Your skills, yeah, they were pretty cool. Don't let that go to your head. Where are mines are dangerous? They can throw your life off, right off course as easy as that. Same thing with Pokemon battles, really. It's almost the most deep. It's always the most dangerous when you're just starting to get the hang of things. Today is not a great advice for you, know. You're better off giving up. You sure you want to battle me? Still trying to act cool, huh? That's too bad. <laughs> well, all this is my job. Uh, uh, well, this is my job now, so don't take what I'm not you personally. Whatever. You're ready to feel the icy bite of reality. Don't 
Don't say that well, you're not my fault if you get overwhelmed. Which is a winner outfit for just this freaking battle, but oh well. Okay, it's the evolved form of that Pokemon that was out before the battle and before interacting with the gym leader. Let me see. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick with this one. You're not just talk, I see, but you're still one false step from a steep fall. <laughs> what the heck, just because I can't, might as well. Battles are like mountains in the winter. The situation can change in a heartbeat. Up. You're always just one step away from devastation, the cold leave you shaking. You mowed straight through my eyes. That burning passion you have, no, you strive for the future no matter what challenges you face. Just like how I used to be. But never mind, I should give you your gym badge. Huh, you want a photo together to commemorate your win? Come on, that's so that's so uncool. I don't I don't usually do that sort of thing, but okay, fine, special occasion. Ten. With eight gym badges, you should be able to catch Pokemon of any level. <laughs> Also listen to every word you say, whether it's cool or not. Ta! <laughs> nice. Oh, and before you for before I forget, you should take this too. Mm. 
Oh, the speed and thin ice and twirls around, slamming the target. The smooth spinning motion also destroys the terrain. Should be a lot more useful than some silly photo of you and me. Feel free to stop by again if you don't mind the cold, that is. Okay, call the name of my first Pokemon, whatever. Sonny, King Gambit! You did it, yeah, I'm so happy for you. This is the best. I know I said I wasn't worried, but my heart was still pounding the whole time. Most impressive, Sonny, you saw Scott. The shining display of talent, I must admit. Seriously, pat yourself on the back. You beat every single gym. Which means... Indeed. Now that you've gathered eight gym badges, all that's left is to take up on the Pokemon League. If you hope to stand alongside Nimona as a fellow champion, head to the Pokemon League. This is where you can take on the champion assessment. Yeah, hurry up and get to my rank. I'm itching for a battle of equals. I've got to take the time while you're facing the League to find two of my Pokemon's moves and revamp all my tactics. Well, good luck and wish me luck too. <clears throat> it's unusual for me to see him so excited, though perhaps not for you. He was really be happy that she finally has a friend who can keep pace with her own talents. There's a special kind of strength that can only be reached by competing with a good rival. Counting me, count me among those here to see how far you two can go. In any case, I'm waiting for the Pokemon League. All the rest of my go is a. Uh... It doesn't take you direct, but there'll be a uh, estimation point like there is for the final team star thing I haven't done yet. Okay, so now the thicket. Oh, duh, because I'm in the gym. Let me see the spinner. Um, I'm going to sort by newest first ice spinner. Okay. It's a physical attack. Oh, so it's the entire interesting. It's not just the specific pouch. Alrighty. Oh, by type, duh. Oh, anyway. Let me see... Mm. 
Freaking give me a whole coin. Mine's always a sly king. Okay, four star electric frost moss. If uh, I would have freaking brought in my whole 100 star bar.
Okay, before that, I've got something else to show off. <coughs> I sure already showed up previously a while, I guess. <coughs> Sunny Star Scout. Operation Star Operation Starfall's gone. Well, wouldn't you say only two bosses left now? At the time I did this. Unintentionally, of course. <clears throat> this whole experience has been eye opening to see the least I'm glad I could take part. I'm curious, Sonny, what do you think of Cassopia? Can't be trusted to doing the right thing. They're bad regulars. I really don't know. Is that so? Personally, I don't think Cassopia feels any hate or resentment towards Team Star. No, there must be some of the reason behind Operation Starfall. But what could it be? Well, I best get back to keeping watch. Call me if you decide to take on the base, okay? <clears throat> I see you're almost at the fifth base. Hold up inside there is Team Star's last remaining squad. You fought well to make it this far. Thank you, Sonny. Sonny, Casopia! <clears throat> <clears throat> so, you made it as well, Clyde. <clears throat> of course, it's the last base. I wouldn't want to miss out on the action. Clive, I owe you my thanks. Your help has been invaluable to the operation. 
I'm sorry I was so worried of you at first. Well, that's all under wa water under the bridge. When we're finished with this base, will that be the end of Opportunity Starfall then? What will your what will your answer be? I am curious. <clears throat> Not quite. We'll still need to handle Team Star's secret mastermind last of all. <clears throat> Do we have any leads on how to find them? I'm hoping they'll come out into the open once all the squad bosses have stepped down. I see! We've come so far, only a few more steps left. Don't let me down, either of you. <clears throat> the Sophia's hung up! Or the Sophia's hung up? Alright. Thanks to you, Sonny. I've slowly been surely come to understand Team Star. I know what we need to do and what my final decision will be. For that, I can't thank you enough. Take care in that base, Miss Sunny Star Scout. Ah, sorry for getting out polite there. Don't know what came over me. <clears throat> Get out of here. Anyway. You're pretty skilled! Not many trainers can shut out my Pokemon with attacks like that! Same to you, Aerie, was it? Your Pokemon have clearly spent a lot of time honing their moves, but I'm surprised to find the boss himself out here defending the gates. <clears throat> Don't you trust your aunts enough to put them on guard duty? Watch your mouth! I'm here because I don't want to risk anyone else getting hurt, that's all! What a benevolent boss! Now, if you want to get on with our battle, I'm already on my side. Oh, double battle? To... <clears throat> Who are you? Sunny, there you are. I started talking to this girl so she looked like she was the team star. Then she we came out at me not warning. We were just battling it out. <clears throat> Er, I knew you'd be out here. <sighs> Carmen? You okay? You're not hurt, are you? I'm fine, honestly. Now get away from here. It's not safe. I'll take over guarding the base here. You should get back inside. You're a fool. No, I won't back down. I can't. Oh, you need to stop this. Until the big boss comes back, I have to protect all of you in the calf squad, and everyone's team star too. That's why you should get back in the base and rest up, even just for a little bit. Oh, it's a squad I just can't. Hey, please don't friend, listen to what I'm saying. Wow, yo, I'm sorry. That's all you to sign off. You let me hear a lot of the V Star from you, nice and loud. I'm not even voicing it. I'm your point now, uh, you two, come out, take you both down. Hey, Sonny, my Pokemon are actually running out of you after that last battle. Sorry to spring this on you, but you can handle this girl alone. Thanks, I'll be cheering on you from the sidelines. I agree with everything I have. You ready to battle?
Only because my moves aren't very effective. This thing switch old tag is not exactly tough good. That's why Gene's not the one that matters. You know, it's be a better time, that's fine. My job is done, so I'll head back inside. <clears throat> I take you to defeat the guard out front. The bi that base is run by Team Star's fighting crew, the Cap Squad. Their boss, Eerie, is a skilled wrestler and coaches the whole of Team Star in Pokemon battling. Of all the bosses, she'll likely be the most alert to hostilities after our declaration of war. She might try to stop this raid in its tracks by channeling you to a battle before anyone else. <clears throat> I knew it. Tell me what happened. She retreated. We're talking about the same area, right? Well, it seems there's nothing for it now but to attack the base head on. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the calf swat off the map. Calf get it because calf is... Calves are part of your freaking body. You work them out by doing physical activity, fighting type Pokemon. Get it? Ha ha ha. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah, this one resists fighting, so. I mean, granted, there'll be other types too, but I'll go with those three. Also, I can buy a four stars now that I have all the badges, so I'm gonna get some of those. <clears throat> Thank you. 
usual 30 Pokemon in freaking 10 minutes. <clears throat> Even the smallest stars can light up the sky when they shine together as constellations. The last bit accident of Team Star losing isn't an option. AK, hey, you listen if you 30 Pokemon in 10. We'll call the boss that deal deal. How's that for hospitality? Why make you? They're super easy to knock down. I got 31 out of 30. I don't think we hold off her off much longer, boss. Okay, I'm ready. Doesn't matter who you are, I'll bury you when you try to take down Team Star. This time I won't run away. Rah! <clears throat> This base is precious! I won't let this brain of yours go any further! I get as good as I get! That's a promise! We'll see who's left standing in the end!
foraging. Right fast and imagine it has a rock type move, so I'm not messing around with that thing. Stupid freaking RNG, can we not? I hate when the RNG pulls that stupid bull crap. I've used this, please lend me a strength. So it's, um, fighting type. Because I can, I'll do this.
I'm so sorry, everyone! And flashback time. About a year and a half ago. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, I think I went a little too far. Nah, don't worry about it. We're the ones that actually should put us through some tough battle practice so we can train up. Yeah, but... Truly, you need not apologize, my lady. Thanks to thy sage instruction, I am making swift strides towards mastering the art of battle. And I could have never evolved my Pokemon without you. Even the big, even the big, <clears throat> even the big boss said it's thanks to you that we have a fighting chance against our bullies. <clears throat> See, nothing but gratitude to us. You're the brightest star on the whole team. <clears throat> <laughs> Come on, quit being silly. Um, just one thing, we've been training for whole, whole, four whole hours now. I'm totally crapped, because I refuse to say that word. <clears throat> I'm sorry, you... I'm sorry, you really... Oh, you all really should take a break. I'll go for a run while you rest up. My lady, we have... We four have trained... Each trained in our turn, but you, our Stephens Mentor, have rested not once. I cannot help but worry for thy health. Thank you for your concern, Atticus. <clears throat> but lately, I feel I can take anything, even if I'm really tired or feel like crying. Remember that last time we all got together and worked on the gym badge designs to create our Nerium Star Badges? Well, I don't know what it is, but just looking at my Star Badge makes me feel so strong, like I want to give it my all. <clears throat> even my all, but it wasn't enough. I wasn't enough. You show an amazing thing, even if the code didn't require me to give it to you, I want you to have this. Even if it didn't, I'd want you. I still want you to have it. <clears throat> I'd like to see you try it on my general move too. Here, this one's for you. Interesting, they make close combat the TM. It seems like it was a TR in Gen 8. I can't remember. I know you're a part of Operation Starfall, but I can tell from our battle that you're not a bad person. The way you, your Pokemon look at you with such trust gives it away. Do me a favor and look away for a moment. This is a bit much for me to take. I just really... <clears throat> <clears throat> Looks like it's all over. Oh, really? <clears throat> This is the Team Star member you battled at the gates earlier. I asked her to come along for a talk. I asked her to come along for a talk. So what do you want me to ask? What do you want to ask me? You seem to be on much friendlier terms with Erie compared to the other grunts. Why is that? Oh, you spotted that? Well, I don't mind telling you. She was this, I used to hate her. She's an amazing trainer and athlete. She's really pretty too. It took no time at all to, be her, her, to become popular at the Academy. I was queen of the class before she came along, but then everyone liked her more than me. <clears throat> so, let me guess, you started to pick on her. <clears throat> Pretty much, I got our classmates to join in too. We were all so stupid. Banana kids were always fickle, and once one throw wears off, they look for something new. Before long, the class showed me the next target and started bullying me instead. As I deserved it, but then she chose to help me even though I'd been so horrible to her. She told me that she understood how hard it is to have no one on your side, and you invited me to Team Star. Even after you bullied her like that, what a kind girl. <clears throat> she really is enjoying the team. It's worked out great for us. It's been so much fun. Fun. <clears throat> <clears throat> there are rumors that Team Star likewise engages in bullying. <clears throat> you really hear my story? Oh, hear my story? Do you really think that's true? Ah, uh, no. I merely. <clears throat> There's the team star meme who I am today. Please don't take away your greatest treasure. Talk to Kasopia, and then after that, Penny Delivery. <clears throat> so
Sonny, it's m it's me. Did you do it? Did you claim your star badge? Without it, it's boss, the Cat Squad should be a hair's breadth from disbanding. <clears throat> So, Aerie was the last. <clears throat> All five squad bosses have now been toppled from their pedestals. I imagine they'll leave Team Star before long now that they've lost their special positions. After that, they should be they should soon be back attending classes at the Academy. <clears throat> nice work out there, Sonny. Is that Clive I hear? Zobia, well done to you too. Thanks. Now I'll buy your reward, Sonny. I'll transfer your LP. <clears throat> oh, that reminds me. I, I'm doing this whole supply unit rep thing this time, right? <clears throat> Indeed. You can go ahead and give Sunny her bonus reward now. At long last, Operation Starfall has entered its final stage. There's only one thing left on the agenda. You must defeat the big boss and have Team Star disband for good. <coughs> Working crap. <coughs> Don't worry, there's no need to search them out. The true identity of the big boss <clears throat> is none other than me. What do you think this is? The frickin' whole fight the Millennium Star thing and then I'm not the true Millennium Star from Mario Party 3? <clears throat> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep you from you for so long, but the right moment never came. <clears throat> I'm the one who formed Team Star back then. The members of the team were my closest friends. And I treasure them more than anything. If they go on like this, Team Star won't do any good for anyone. They've got to give it up, so I'm using the code we made together to force them to disband. Sonny. I'll be waiting for you in the schoolyard after dark. You should come along. You should come as well, Clive. <clears throat> Understood. <clears throat> then I'll see you both there. <clears throat> <sighs> I kind of figured it was him. I mean, they kind of made it kind of obvious, so. <clears throat> So, Cassopia was the big boss of Team Star this whole time. I certainly thought it possible, but with this revelation, I just might have an inkling as to their true identity. <clears throat> it seems we'll find our answers after dark in the Academy schoolyard. Let's prepare as best we can before heading over there. So yeah, Annihilate would be the Pokedex update. But yeah, here's an example of the type of, with the layers crest on your Bisharp, you have to fight one of these Bisharps surrounded by Pine Yards to evolve your Bisharp into, uh... You have to defeat three of them. Of those specific ones, to evolve Bisharp into King Gambit. Yep, gotta heal.
If you actually have to wait for it to be dark, or will the game automatically change it over to dark when you approach the area you need to be at? <sighs> like when you approach the loading zone or whatever wall, you change it to dark regardless. That's my name. <clears throat> Actually, no, it's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. <clears throat> Allow me to reveal my true identity. They actually have your character shocked, really. <clears throat> I do apologize for deceiving you in my disguise. In truth, the boy you knew as Clyde was none other than the director of UVA Academy. <clears throat> Mr. Clavel. <laughs> what? But my disguise was so perfect. Although now I think about it, I didn't love to keep you to keep up my youthful act on a few occasions. That must have been what gave me away. Regardless, there's still one more astonishing truth I must reveal to you. <clears throat> Bull crap! How could you freaking be talking to your dang freaking self unless what we heard on the phone was a pre-recorded message? <clears throat> but if that actually is the case, I had thought of that previously too. <clears throat> that that might be the case. <clears throat> True identity of Kazopia, the big boss. Of the true identity of Kazopia, the big boss of Team Star, was me all along. <clears throat> <clears throat> Son of a surging crap. <clears throat> Honest to goodness, when you heard Kazopia over the phone, that I just said pre-recorded. That's what it was. That was the only thing it could have been. <clears throat> Kind of worse that my voices for him as Kisopia and him as Clive were kind of similar. <laughs> <clears throat> when you hear Kisopia over the phone, that was actually a pre-recorded voice. I parled off using, er, you know, one of those high tech gizmos, so yes, it was very clever. Like scheduled frickin' uploads for freaking YouTube as an example, or something to compare it to. <clears throat> And that also explain. I just realized that's why he went undercover too. He went undercover so that the frickin' bosses would not recognize him. That's why he had to frickin' go under disguise. That way they wouldn't know that their big boss was forcing them to disband. <clears throat> <clears throat> So, Miss Honey Starscout, now you know I'm the big boss. There's 
That means there's just one thing left to do. Face me in one posture and decide it all. <clears throat> Kusobio of Steam Star, with this battle will finally bring Operation Starfall to an end. <clears throat> Orgru is psychic type, so this is fine. I have no electric moves. Yay! Basically, the champion of Team All Star Fall Sorry for his wobbles. Yeah, you know what? And I can always go back, switch it for I can work between reteaching Yawn for catching Pokemon and Overheat for battle. Plus, it's good as well. Torch Song twice, Overheat once. <laughs> Definitely a really good in game strat. But a bit better for that than for competitive online. guys. Good, I'm so glad that missed. I've got a good HP and defenses, so I'm not having any of that overheat. Interesting. <clears throat> the thing that I guess I'll be able to be backed into a corner like this.
Very well, since I shall have the chance to answer my Pokemon. <clears throat> Long this fire type, I'm good. strong you've grown! <clears throat> well now, Miss Sunny Star Scout, you seem to go quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. <clears throat> Here, once again, I must apologize. I am not actually Cassopia, though Clive and myself being the same person was no lie, mind you. Cassopia's sure didn't near me, didn't. I believe I can hazard a guess as to who they may, they may be. And that's why I sought to spare you from having to confront them in battle. Their sorrows should not be yours to bear. <clears throat> However, Sophia has settled on a course of action and is determined to see it through. I do not imagine any ordinary student could hope to stand against them and win. So I challenge you to a battle to test your skill. If you had lost it, I would if you had lost it, it would have fallen to me to bring out the Sophia. Such was my resolve. But it turns out you are as strong as you are kind. If anyone has a chance of saving that poor child, it is surely you. As an educator, it takes me to burden one of my students with such a task. But please, if you guys help me take on the big boss of Team Star and win. Thank you for the bottom of my heart. I leave it, this in your hands. Yeah, it's like, I thought of it could have just been pre-recorded, but at the same time, I thought of the recording and they used it, but that really wasn't him. So, <laughs> I was half right. His reasoning for him being his OB when it really wasn't was, I was right on that with the pre-recorded, but I was also, my initial right is like, no, it can't be him. <clears throat> you said, what do you, th what do you think you're doing? Ah, uh, Miss Diamond, pleasure to see you! No pleasure at all, Mr. Pupil. I come here, came here to investigate the reports of an illicit battle. So, what do I find? Why the director of the academy himself facing off against so one of our students, no less? What were you thinking? Ah, uh, no. If I could just explain to you, see, it's a rather sad tale. <clears throat> oh, spare me! Your excuse is really worse than a stuggy, worse than a stuggy's behind. You're lucky I don't bust out into my freaking rap battles right now. <clears throat> Remember, the big boss has to be them in the story after dark. I'm counting on you. <clears throat> the right letter allows you to choose the faculty at once. I'll be running this camera with a school board and make no mistake. You gotta raise your own at anything with that, I implore you.
Well, I'd like to do that one last thing, but unfortunately, considering what time it is for right now, I'm gonna have to stop. Um, I will be doing one more recording session this week. It'll be the last one I do before my Pokemon week of next month in February, so... On Thursday, I'm hoping to be able to not only at least, like, I would like to finish up the entirety of the main game, but unfortunately that part won't happen, but I'm hoping to at least wrap this up. The, the, the Team Starfall stuff up, as well do all the classes available at the UVA Academy. Before, I want to do all the classes I can in that before moving on to the Elite Four, so... Be finishing this off and doing as much of that as I can in my next video. <clears throat> so that's it, guys. That's it for this video. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Well, let's play Pokemon Violet Blind. Bye, everybody.